right, folks, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powdered Toast Man, the Login TV, all those guys right there. And let's get started. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. We have a knife today from Urban EDC Supply. This is the Nessie in full titanium bowler M390 uh, stonewash finish. Now, you've probably, I'm going to put this here so I don't have so much stuff on the screen here. There we go. Uh, yeah, here's their card. You can freeze this for all their information. Well, what if, there you go, their website. There you go. And I'll have it down in the description because I am an affiliate with them. Um, and now th there's something right at the beginning of this. Now, these Nessies are not, um, you know, they're, they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap knives. These are $239. And they have, uh, let's see, JG10, Green Micarta, Titanium. And then they also have a brown... Uh, my card. And now, if you use the code KF5, you can get 5% off of any of those. Um, and by the way, use my link down in the description because I will get uh, a little credit for that and I will use it to buy knives to go back into the channel. I've had a couple of people use that over the months that I've had it, but if more use it, I'll cash that in and uh, end up you know, buying a knife or two to, to get in and review and give away. And that's what I will do for sure. Um, so you can use KF5 for 5% off of all four varieties, and you can use KF10 for 10% off of the brown micarta only. Only the brown micarta, um, and that's the deal with that. So now that business is out of the way, I'll have the link down in the description. Go over there, check one out, uh, use the code, hopefully use my link, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, again, this is the Nessie comes in a pouch. Uh, I did a, a first impressions on this, but I figured do a full um, uh, full uh, review as well. Really nice pouch, has the kind of uh, I guess I don't know little uh, pocket watch or whatever that is. Um, and so the Nessie guys, now this is a super super cool knife. I'm really digging this. Now when I first saw it, I thought maybe it wouldn't quite appeal to me, um, but it really really does. Now. Um, I think the designer on this is Chris Taylor. I'm pretty sure we got kind of a kukri designed or or Nesmuk uh, style blade here. More it feels more kukri than Nesmuk, but you can you can see a little of both in it. <clears throat> this is the full titanium version. Um, fairly thick handle scales. I think I mentioned I, I uh, measured them at like five eighths of an inch earlier. Um, it looks like a micarta backspacer to me. I couldn't. Uh, quite nope, I, I did find it. My card of backspacer right there. Really cool chamfered out uh, scales, big thick slabs of titanium, uh, but they're definitely rolled at the edges, and you have these great classic looking lines. Uh, great titanium clip. Uh, there is a knock on that. We'll get to it in just a minute. You have a very large uh, lock bar cut out here. Uh, flipper tab. The blade is stone washed and uh, on the grind and kind of a flat satin, uh, excuse me, a satin on the flats. Wow. Uh, you do have some good jimping up here. We'll talk about that. This ridiculous crowning here, or it's more like chamfering, but it turns out to be crowning and that comes all the way back. Good plunge grind. Uh, you have a great sharpening choil here. No billboarding at all on this thing. It is totally and completely clean. Let's see. Is there anything, I don't see any writing on the inside or anything like that. We do have quite a bit of weight relief in there, um, which is important with these thick slabs of titanium. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, you don't have a cutout access to the lock bar, but you do have a chamfer. We'll talk about that. Uh, lock, um, lock bar interface here and an over travel stop as well. Um, let's go ahead and do this while we're here. Lock looks like it's maybe 10 to 15 <clears throat> centering. By the way, guys, I'm fighting a cold, so apologize. Um, we might be, wow. No, I think we're dead centered. I was going to say off to the show side, but I think it's a, um, optical illusion because of this cutout. Um, so no, we're, we're dead centered. All right. Um, so again, really, it's just a kind of a stonewashed, finish there's um you know there, it's a little it's not i wouldn't call it slick because it definitely grabs but there's no texture to this uh and that's fine and again the the um 
If you want a lot of texture, there are micarta versions, and I bet you that G G10 has some. Let's see. Let me look at the picture of the G10 one. Uh, well, I can't find it right now. Oh, it's because I'm on the brown. Yeah, there's some texture on that uh, JG10 as well. Uh, so really cool, and you can make that whatever color you want. Um, you do have a lanyard hole here as well. All right, so let's just hit this flipper tab and see what happens. All right, you can see there, um, D10 is pretty good. Now, I, I wouldn't hit that. Let's try to fail it. Yeah, so you can see it almost fails, but not quite. Um, but it's a good D10. I mean, it feels like, yeah, I mean, there's some good positive pressure there. Um, really good. Now, this lock bar is not the best for leverage. If it was a little further up or not angled as much, I think it would never fail. Um, it, the reason it doesn't fail is the D10 is really good, but it is a little, you know, a little funky there in that in that shape. But I will say the way it fans out does grab your finger really well. It doesn't need jimping for me because it grabs your finger, as you can see. Um, it is a dropper. A little, I gave it a little shake at the end, but now you do, um, let's see, let's see if I can show you guys. So see, it wasn't past the detent there, but it's not terrible. Uh, that's not bad. You just got to basically, all you got to do is, whoa, don't do that. Great. I'm going to bleed in a second. Just so you guys know that was dumb. I put my finger down too low, just like that. Drop it to your thumbnail and then let it go. Let's see. Are we bleeding? Oh, come on. Really? Um, yeah, I haven't done that the whole time I've been carrying it, guys. It hasn't even come close. I've hit the flipper tab every time. So don't uh, hold that against the knife. That is totally me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not bleeding bad enough to even worry about a Band-Aid. So uh, that was me. So normally, as you can see, it's going to come down on that flipper tab. I just put my hand down way too low. Um, that was not. But anyway, uh, so lock bar access, again, isn't. Um, you know, there's no cutout, but it's not bad. You just kind of dig your thumb in there and push. Uh, th there's enough relief where there's, by the way, there's no lock stick or anything like that. There's enough relief where you just push that over really easily and it's not a problem at all. And see, now y'all got to look at that the whole time. All right, fine. I'll dab it on a paper towel here just so we don't end up with you guys, uh, seeing my blood the whole time, but it's just a nick. Yep, barely. Ah, dang it. I hate that I did that. Uh, definitely not the nice fault. It's my stupidity, but um, really good in that regard. Now, as far as um, lockup, I mean, solid as a fixed blade, guys. This thing is so well done. It is locked up like a bank vault. It is not going anywhere whatsoever. No up and down, no side to side. Um, as far as ergos now, uh, for me, I get, I can get off of that flipper tab. Now I don't, I would not want to just be against that flipper tab because of this sort of not, you know, turn back there. Um, it does kind of lock you in, but I just like to be back from it just a little bit. And in that case, my thumb is resting. My thumb that's bleeding is, um, resting right on that jimping. You can get up here really easy. There is no forward finger choil, please. That is not a forward finger choil. That is a sharpening choil. I mean, if you got really tiny fingers, maybe uh, not for me. Uh, these scales are thick, but I have pretty uh, long fingers. So for me, I love the way this fills my hand. It feels perfect to me uh, in the hand, uh, either in this grip or this grip. It just feels really, really good. So I'm digging it for sure. Now, um, let's see. I I was trying to, I forgot to set out some cardboard here. So you guys know we like to do a little cardboard cutting here on the Knives Fast channel. Um, guys, you can see uh, this guy is just a cutter. Now that belly lends itself, uh, I mean, it is just butter cutting through there. I mean, Look at that. I tried to kind of slice that time, and it, it definitely did really, really well in that regard. So there you go. I'm going to set this down. Uh, it does just as well with paper. I didn't really cut a lot because, again, this is a pass-around knife, so I didn't want to go too crazy. Now, um, M390 is the blade steel. Uh, the full length is 7.75 inches. The blade is 3.25. The blade stock 
It was a little thicker, but again, it comes down to a nice, nice edge. It is four millimeters on the thickness. Um, it is made in China. Uh, the width is um, 1.6. The height is 0.6. Um, G10 and micarta weight is five ounces, and the titanium weight is five and a half. Uh, which really not a big deal for this size knife for me. I think it feels really, really good. Now, I was trying to find here. Let's see if I can find this. All right, I'm just going to look. Yeah, this is a flat grind. I was thinking for a minute that it might be a... Nope, it's definitely a flat grind, guys. Uh, it is not a hollow, uh, but it does come down to a really nice thin edge. And you can see it just murdered that cardboard. Let's see. I got. I do have a piece of paper down here. Might as well do that too. What the heck? Um, well, yeah. There you go. That was just me kind of getting. You know, paper doesn't do well on on a end of a. Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> on the belly part right there. Uh, it's all about angle. Uh, but you can see it's definitely. Uh, now I'm gonna mess it up. I should have stopped. Really. Okay, fine. It'll cut, guys. Trust me. Uh, man, that is so frustrating when I can't do it right with hugging a camera like that. But anyway, so there you go. That is the Urban EDC Supply Nessie. Now, I just looked at the clock, and this is a longer review. Uh, so I apologize for that. But I uh, wanted to make sure I got all that info out there and talk for about a minute and a half before I started the review. So... There you go, guys. That is the Urban EDC Supply Nessie. Check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.